Hey look, bedhead. What is happening, my Android friends? Welcome to another episode of App of the Week. I am David, of course, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com. And uh, how you doing there? Uh, very shiny. Wow, that's cool. I get distracted easily. I'm sorry. Um, a nice little APK dropped last night. If you uh, if you guys have been under a rock, um, Google Maps version 7.00 or just 7. I don't know why we need decimal points, but they put it on there. It just dropped um, and has not hit the Play Store yet, or at least for a lot of people it hasn't. Um, so uh, we actually got the APKs for you, and uh, let's check it out here. It is actually very nice. We actually got our first look at the new maps um, during Google I.O. when they were showing all the new capabilities of the map and how it looks and the UI differences. And we got it on our computers, but now we can get it on our devices. And uh, it's got a very uh, Google Now-like quality, like the cards kind of quality to it. If you want to do a search, it brings up stuff. You can explore. Um, let's see, like I typed in Los Angeles here, which it's, there we go. And as you can see, I have it on walking right now, which I'm not going to walk to LA. It'll take me a day. That doesn't seem fun. And if you bring up this little menu right here, it's kind of cool. It gives you like all the different scenarios here, like different um, routes and everything. But of course, I'm not going to walk. I probably wouldn't want to ride my bike to LA either. Take me eight, seven, six hours. Wow. Then we got, of course, transit. I just like how it, you know, gives you different routes because Google Maps really didn't do that before, which is pretty nice. It's it's like they're trying to help us get from point A to point B. And then of course we got the um, traffic. I mean, it says with light, all oh, everything's with light traffic. Um, you can actually do route options too. Avoid highways or avoid tolls. You know, of course, if you're driving in LA, you can't avoid a highway, or else you're just gonna—it's gonna take forever, <laughs> three hours. Yeah, so we don't want to avoid highways. So you can actually change that, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to the main here. Very smooth, very fluid too. I'm not gonna lie. Really liking it on the phone, looks great. And of course you got the little tab right here, little holo in your face, little holo UI. Uh, I can add the traffic if I wanted to, which of course you'll see a lot of red in LA. It's impossible for LA not to have traffic. Public transit, if you want to check the, those maps, pretty cool. Hello Stormy, thank you for interrupting my video as always. Bicycling, and then of course satellite, which looks really nice. Sure, it's better on a lot of your devices that have better screens, bigger screens, and all that fun stuff. But it's kind of cool how they integrated. You will have to download Google Earth. It doesn't have it just like in the actual um, app. You'll have to download it. It just goes right to it. If you can see right here, it just goes right to Google Earth, which is kind of cool. I like that. And we got a white screen. Sweet. Okay, here we go. Um, settings. Not much here. Let's see. We got. Okay. I mean, it's all your stuff. Distance units, let's see, edit home and work. It's kind of just, it, it just utilizes your Google Now a lot more, which I like. It's pretty cool. You could switch accounts if you wanted to. And then a lot of people were wondering, um, you know, offline mode, they took that away. Well, basically what you could do, uh, offline mode is still technically there. Damn you, Flexi, for always closing. But it's always there. If you type in OK Maps and then hit Search, it does it right there for you. See, on-screen map area has been catched. So there you go. So offline mode is technically still there. You just gotta type in OK Maps, which is cool. And of course, they got rid of latitude or they're retiring latitude, which is not a big deal. I mean, I used to use it a lot before, but not so much anymore. But if you wanna just use the Google Hangouts app, I guess it's pretty much the same thing. So just use that. But anyways, guys, uh, we have the APKs for you down below in the uh, description. Um, the article has both the Android 4.1 APK as well as the 4.2 APK, I guess. People on 4.1 were having difficulties trying to install it on their device, so we got the 4.1 there for you because we love you, and I love you more than the rest of the guys at Android Spin, just to let you guys know. Okay, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie, over at AndroidSpin.com, and I'm still hungry even though I ate lunch. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. All right, bye-bye.